guys, so I know I filmed a haul recently, but I actually didn't put that up until several days after I actually filmed it, because I was just putting other videos up, so I wanted to put that up, like, you know, after those videos. So I am making another haul today, so I really love watching hauls, and I don't really see a problem with them. I know a lot of people might think, like, you're bragging about stuff you bought. But it's definitely not bragging, it's just kind of showing you what you got, like what products are out there now. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start off with the Bath and Body Works stuff because, um, I don't know, I just want to. So the first thing I got was the Bally Mango Fragrance Mist. So this scent is one of their new ones that's for maybe like summer or spring, I'm not really sure. It smells really, really good though. I didn't like the other two, the passion fruit or the coconut. I don't like coconut. I think I mentioned that in another video. So, obviously I wouldn't get a coconut scented body mist if I don't like coconut. The next thing I got was the matching shower gel. So I got this because I really like um, shower gels. I don't really like soap as much as shower gels. I just feel like shower gels are like nicer to wash your skin with. I mean, not that soaps are bad. Okay, so the next thing I got was the White Citrus Fragrance Mist. So this just smells really clean and fresh. Not too strong, but really, really good. So I really like this one. Then I got the Warm Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Mist. So this just, you know, it's kind of like a classic scent. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what warm vanilla sugar smells like, so yeah. The next thing I got was the Carried Away Body Lotion. So this smells... I don't know how to explain the scent of this one. It just smells like fresh, like the white citrus one. It smells really good. I wish I had got the um, mist too. I think I'll probably go back and get the mist. And the last thing I got was the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion. I just got it to match the spray or just use a separate. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's separately. So Bath and Body Works, they were buy one, or buy one, buy three, get two free, which somehow I ended up with six products, but there were six things I really wanted, so I was just like, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. So... I will move on to the drugstore stuff. Okay, so the first thing I got, I went to Walmart yesterday and I wanted to pick up some of the hard candy baked blushes because I knew they were like pretty cool looking and I kind of just wanted to give them a try. So this first one that I got, I only got two but you know, there's only like three and I don't like the other one. Ugh, okay. So I got this one. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of a purpley pink with like gold swirled through it. And this one is in Living Doll. So this is so, so pretty. And I really like this. It says you can apply it dry or wet. I don't really know how applying wet would be, but you know, maybe I would try that sometime. Then the next one I got looks like this and it's just kind of like almost like a bronzer color with pink sh like swirling through it and this one is in bombshell so these are super pretty they're seven dollars each at walmart so i really liked those then i got this blush it's the covergirl black classic color blush in iced plum i'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today it's actually a really pretty color I've actually only had like one of these blushes in my entire life. I had Soft Mink, I believe it was called. So this color is really pretty. I think it might be a matte blush. So if you're looking for like a matte, like plummy colored blush, that would probably be a good one to try. I'm pretty sure it's matte. I'm not exactly sure. It looks matte in the thing. I have really dark under eye circles, so sorry. I'm tired. So the next thing I got is the Maybelline Stylish Smokes and Amethyst Smokes. So this looks like this. So it just kind of has like a white, a purple, a grayish, and a black. 
I think I'm going to be doing tutorials with these palettes that I'm getting that I just got because um, you know just have some new tutorials up. Then I got another Maybelline quad in Seashore Frost. So this one's really pretty. I'm really excited to make a tutorial for this one. So it's just kind of like a bluish, a purple, um, a lighter like lilac color, and then kind of like a bluish green. So I'm really excited to make a tutorial with these. And then the last Maybelline one I got is the Maybelline Stylish Smokes and Plum Smokes. And it looks like this. So it kind of just has like a pinky nude color, a purpley color, a grayish color, and then like a brown. So that's really pretty. I really like these um, Maybelline quads. Okay. So then... I got a CoverGirl quad, and it is an Urban, hold on, what's it called? Urban Basics. So it's just kind of like basic, like, neutral colors, which I really like neutral colors, because they're just so much wear more wearable than, like, pink or, like, blue eyeshadow. So, yeah, I really like these. It kind of just has, like, a gray, like a taupe. A champagne and like a whitish color, like an off white. It's not like white. Then I got the uh, L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti Dull Pr Skin Primer, which I actually didn't realize this was gonna be like shimmery. I thought it would just kind of like brighten up your. Ooh, what did I do to my hair? I thought it would just kind of brighten up your hair or your hair. <laughs> Brighten up your skin. Sorry, I was like, like my hair looked funny. Um, so I said my hair. But yeah, this has like shimmer, so I'm kind of disappointed. I might use it as like a highlight, like on my cheekbones. But I can't imagine using this all over my face because I already have oily skin. So I can't imagine using a shimmery primer. I mean, if you have oily skin like me, you will know shimmery primer would be a absolutely positively new. So then I got this Rimmel foundation. It's the clean finish look 100% poreless foundation. So I'm actually wearing it today and I actually like it. It was super cheap at Walmart. It was, I think it was only like $4. And, oh wait, 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 wait. The best part, you know how you hate pouring the like foundation onto your hand? Oh, just wait for it. If I can get it open. It has like a little spatula, like type of little scooper, so you can get like, get the foundation and like scoop it up. I thought that was like so adorable. I want to use it today to try it out. Um, it doesn't make you really 100% poreless like it says, because I mean honestly I have really big pores, so I don't think anything is going to make me look 100% poreless. I don't really think it helps like minimize my pores at all. But I mean I really just wanted to try a new foundation and the scooper when I looked at when I went to like open it today and I pulled out the scooper I was like, oh my god I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. So yeah the uh second to last thing I got was the Pond's Morning Refresh with Citrus and Cucumber Wipes. I mentioned these in one of my favorite videos so I went ahead and purchased the big pack. So yeah, I think I like the Evening Soothe ones a little bit more, but that's okay. These ones, like I said, they have like little exfoliating beads. I'm not really sure if you can see. They're like little white or orange exfoliating beads. Then the last thing I got was the Suave Volumizing Root Boost Spray. It's a targeted lift and support at the roots. So I thought it'd be nice to like spray like my roots and then like blow dry my hair upside down like I normally do and have like major volume, up, not major volume, but like a little bit of volume at the top. Oh, and there was something else I wanted to talk about before I wrap this video up. Okay, so I, when I was at Walmart, I was looking at the hard candy stuff and they have um, these like blush things that have four different colors and if you're looking for Benefits Sugar Bomb and you don't maybe want to spend the $28 that it costs, I would highly recommend going to a Walmart or wherever they sell hard candy cosmetics and looking for the blush. It is an exact dupe for Sugar Bomb. I mean, I was going to get it, but I was like, what's the point of me getting it? I already have one that's like, 
probably a little bit better. I mean, I know that sounds horrible to say, but I mean, I'm sure the one that's $28 is better than the one that's maybe like $8. But, I'm sure it's great. I just didn't, really didn't want to get it. Also, if you're looking for Benefits 10 box powder, they have an exact dupe at Walmart as well. Um, I think that's pretty much all the ones they have. I can't really think of any other ones. But I just wanted to throw that in there because I know, like, not everyone wants to go and spend, like, almost $30 on one blush. Maybe they want to get, like, three or four blushes and spend 30 or two blushes or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, that's pretty much all for my entire haul. Huh, that rhymed. Why do I find it so amusing when I rhyme? I don't know. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. And I hope you enjoyed my haul. I know some people don't like hauls, but I really love hauls. Like, whenever I see a haul, I'm always like, yay. I just love, like, seeing what other people buy. I don't know. It's kind of, like, interesting to me. But, yeah. So that's pretty much it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.